Darling Darling was commissioned by ACME and the Ian Potter Cultural Trust under the ACME Ian Potter Moving Image Commission. So Darling Darling is a two-screen moving image work. On one side, there is a documentary-style film showing the careful conservation of a painting in the Art Gallery New South Wales permanent collection called W.C. Pigeny's Flood of the Darling, 1890. The care for this particular painting contrasts to the film on the other side, which shows the same region shown in the painting, which has been damaged and mismanaged. So Darling Darling was filmed on the unceded lands of the Barkindji people, also on the unceded lands of the Gadigal people of the Aora Nation. I was really privileged to spend time with and be guided by Barkindji elder artist and activist, Uncle Badger Bates, who shared with me knowledge of his country. I was guided on where to film and where not to film and was assisted in understanding some of the stories that these images that I'm showing might be also telling. The Barkadaling region has suffered from the vast quantities of extraction of water upstream for large-scale cotton agriculture and other kind of uh, very thirsty crops. This extraction of water deprives communities, the Barkindji communities and small farming communities and has drastic impacts on those regions. I started to wonder about what it means that certain objects are treated a certain way and cared for a certain way and what narratives that care might hide. It seems very telling that in so-called Australia we keep paintings of the what is outside of the gallery's walls. We keep them so carefully contained and static considering that everything outside is so dynamic and that distinction seems so clear. I'm not advocating for, you know, that all paintings should suddenly be let to rot. That's not what this work is by any means about, but I'm interested in scrutinising uh, how control and capture function within an art, a Western art ideology. This work creates a dichotomy, care, lack of care, and that would be perhaps your first impression upon seeing this work. What I hope that viewers uh, experiencing this work will um, appreciate is that um, I'm interested in a grey area between these two different realms as well, these two different understandings and these two different treatments. <laughs>